Good shot. Good shot. We're here tonight, Golf Central. Yep. Doing some more testing and reviewing of the TaylorMade Iron Range. Yep. And we have the TaylorMade M1 Iron. Oh, mm. you're, out, you're out of the shot. Sorry. Um, M1 Iron. Yeah. Now, you've hit this before. You, you've, well, sorry, you've hit everything yes. in the TaylorMade range. So have you, Richard? Um, I haven't actually hit that one. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So, Maybe so what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, have a little, I'll have a little look at it first. Yeah, so, so let's talk about a little bit of technology. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Um, uh, 360 undercut, so they're basically almost like a cup face type thing. There's a little bit of a ridge at the top here that's a undercut here as well, saving mm. some weight, mm. moving cool. some weight lower. I said that there was tungsten in the M2, there's no tungsten in the M2, oh, there's okay. tungsten in the M1. One. So there's tungsten, high density tungsten mm -hmm. in the toe, speed pocket in the bottom to keep ball speeds up across the face and low on the face. Mm. You've also got speed slots, seven iron up to four iron. Um, look at well, geoacoustics right. as well. Oh, again, yeah. Geoacoustics. Geoacoustics. So the so M1, nice. <laughs> it, yeah, right. basically, M M1 sits <laughs> a little smaller, a little bit more compact than the M2. A little bit less offset, but there's not too much in it. Um, loft. What did I say? Seven on was twenty uh, thirty point five. Yes. And the yeah. M2 was twenty eight point five. Yes, that's right. So the M2 is so like I said, if you were going to do a combo set. And you're going to go to six iron in the M2. Yep. You have to probably strengthen everything a degree, or at least for the you know seven and eight maybe mm. in the M1, in just probably. to get the gap a little bit better. Thoughts? I like the look of it. Looks looks good. Like I said, not unsimilar to the M2. No. Um, I'm going to duck over and yeah, have a little hit, hit and um, see what it feels like, but. It looks all right. Yeah, we'll go, go, over, go over a little bit of a hit. Yep. <clears throat> we'll move around. Um, Beautiful. Basically, the M1 and M2 for me feels quite firm. Back bits, yeah, yeah. Uh, M1, M M2 feels quite firm. Um, I'd rather the feel of the MCGB and then the P series. But Richo's on the opposite end of it. He loves the sound of it, loves the feel of it. But this is the M1, which he hasn't hit yet. This is live. Soaring off into the night sky. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind that. Um... Now, no, no. What's the difference in your mind between the two? Is there much? <laughs> Not much. This starts to feel coming off the face more into a player sort of club. Do you it's got that. Yeah, it doesn't have that high cracking no, sound. It's got a little bit more yeah, dull. Yeah, yeah. As with the M2, it does sound a bit more like a bit more of a game improving club. Yeah, it sounds As loud. The sound of this and the feel of this is closer to what I have yeah. currently. There is a bit um, more feedback with it, I found, yeah, when I was I, hitting it. And yes. a little bit more workability yeah. as well. So. Like you can actually feel I, when it's a little bit off. And, off and I think that's not other, such so. a bad thing, is no, it? No, no, definitely not. You know, you don't want, how to say, to be able to hit a bad shot and you go, oh, that feels as good as a Anything. good shot. Yeah. Mm. But you do get a bit more feedback off this, which, you know, for me, if I was looking at the two, I would have to get a couple of different irons and, and obviously hit a few more of each yeah. mm. and see what I thought. But um, look, the same. I like the. I don't mind the look of it. I don't mind the how it sets up behind the ball. No, it sets up pretty good. And it does give you some good feedback, mm. which I See, think I, I, is probably I feel, an advantage. Yeah, yeah, I feel with the M family of irons, the sc the. Uh, the way that they're set up is actually quite good. Mm. In that C the CGB yeah. is super game improving. It'll fly far yeah. if you're off the high, or if you're off the hill. Yep. Then you go to the M2. It does give you a little bit more feedback, but still quite forgiving. And then this one, probably the best feeling out of the lot um, of the for family. myself. Yeah, yep. yeah. Oh, I, I agree. Yeah, um, it, it, but still, still comes off with quite a fair bit of go. Oh yeah, no, I I feel that both of them certainly want to go. And go forward. Mm. Performance-wise, like I said, the M range, it's yeah. it, it's long, it's high, and all that. But the M1, it has to kind of fit in a certain gap because you got to remember the next step from there is the 790, yeah, and which this, is a P series. This you to know me what I mean? is so, what it feels like. Like I said, it's, you it's do starting get some to get that bit more yeah. off this, which is that's what you're looking for, and I don't mind that because you you know how you're going for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. If yeah. You, as where some other clubs can sort of mask it a bit, you think, ah, oh, I've hit the ball all right, and really, you're not hitting it that good. Yeah. As where at least this, you'll get that feedback, go, uh, yeah, do you want know to struggle a bit today? I didn't quite mm. get them off the middle where I wanted to. 
Um, but that's why there's yeah, so many different clubs. Yeah, you know what I mean? For, for your off. skill level and where you're going to be. And off camera, yeah. it, was, it was evident with, uh, just to back up what you're saying, the CGB still sounded like he was hitting the same shot, yet Richo hit one that was about 30 metres shorter than yep. another one. Yeah. Um, yep. So I don't know what the feel was like, obviously, but no, the no, sound. And, but they all feel the same. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So with Whereas it, this just gives you that little bit more. That little bit more feel where you go, yeah, I didn't quite get that yeah. one, no worries. Um, yeah, I look, like I said, the, the M1 and the M2. M1 and M2. Right? M2. In saying that, I just yeah. noticed with with the smaller head and all that sort of stuff, the speed slot seems to have a different shape. Yeah, exactly. Like at the yeah, end, yeah. these sections seem to be extended a little bit thicker. Yep. Correct. In yep. the heel and the toe. So in the M1, M2, there's a, a little bit more on the outside. So yeah. again, that's maybe a bit more protection from a heel and a toe strike. Mm. But yep. again, it can, a club can only do so much. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. and these oh. are basically the most forgiving type of ones you can get. Yeah. Yeah, I, I look, once you get it past the fact that you're not going to be Adam Scott, like that, that'll help out a lot of people. And a combo set with yeah. an M2 to M1s, it, it would be very good. So like maybe M2s in four, five, six, and then you'd strengthen seven, eight in the M1, and then work your way down. I'd like to have a hit with both of them yeah. and see where they sat, but I would consider something like that. Yeah. Certainly the M2s in, in those longer ones, and then because I want that more feedback with the shorter irons. Yeah, it's more of a scoring so, club. So into that seven, eight, nine, so And that's why speed pockets and everything and yeah. your face slots start disappearing after like eight iron. Yeah, yeah. Well, you work it out with a four, mm. four iron. I just want the thing to go straight. Yeah, exactly right. I'm not really concerned. In your opinion, could you see M1 long iron and then a P-series short iron? Maybe. Like, you check out the, the P790 video. Yeah. Because that's a very interesting full set. So I mucked mm. around with a full set. We've only got a seven iron here yep, um, yep. at the moment, but it it's actually going to be an interesting. It's very set. different, but yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be it's, in the next it's one. It's just those. Right. It's it's that where you set ends and starts again, isn't That's it? That's right. You don't want to get. I'm pretty sure the P790 and the M1 lofts are within half similar. a degree of each other. Yeah. yeah, they're they're very very close. Yeah, different feel, different look, different blade lengths, but I could see maybe a four and a five iron or a four iron in an M1, and then. P790 down? Yeah. Maybe something like that? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah no, I, could, I, could, I could see something like that as well. Mm, a little bit more help up. Yeah. But guys, go get fit. Go check out the M1, the M2, and the MCGP, and the P-Series as well. Yeah. Richo likes the M2s uh, and the M1s. Yeah, I, I certainly. the M1s and the M2s are, yep. Certainly the M1s, probably the better of the M2 and the M1 for me. From, yeah. From a field yeah. point of view. Yeah. Yep, yep. But personally, I would rate them M1 as the better, and the M2 in the mid, and yep. yeah, CGV I, I, the way they I come would, out. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd gonna go with combo. There you go, Richo combo. Yeah. But but go get fit yeah. and maybe get a combo for yourself. Comment down below, yeah. and if you hit the M1, the M2, or the CGP, yep. And let us know what you think of the Taylor Made Irons. Hmm. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya.